Hi, I'm Liz Buss, and I'm from Bellevue East. And you're from <laughs> Walking through those doors had to be the hardest thing I've ever had to do. The aroma of, well, of nothing. A lifeless room with a lifeless body, a tongue that never got to strike, lungs that never got to scream, and sweet laughter that a mother's ears never got to hear. Her body like a piece of concrete. And the blanket I wrap her in, it was mine. And now this is the first and last thing she ever wears. A soft blue color, like her daddy's eyes. Holding her in my arms, not wanting to let go, to hold on forever, like dear life, gripping onto the bar like it's the last thing I ever do. The cold and hard and dead bar. One step at a time, Liz. Come on, you can do it. Bring her out there. Show everyone that you're okay. Show them that you're okay with this, that everything is okay, but I can't. I simply cannot bring myself to bring her out there because the thoughts of those lungs never inflating, those taste buds never tasting, those eyes never seeing, and a sweet smile appearing from ear to ear on those lips, those thoughts kill me. Trust me, walking through those doors had to be the hardest thing I've ever had to do. And I hope to God that you never have to go through that carrying your child's lifeless body in your arms, taking one last look down into that beautiful, perfect, sinless face of theirs. You carry them close, holding them one last time. Angela May. Angela May was her name. My own flesh and blood, or what's left of it anyway. Looking at the clock, I see it's been like forever, and I walk through those doors, and a man awaits. A man who I seem to have recognized, but I can't particularly put my finger on it. And he, he gestures towards her, and I hold her out instinctively, you know, like a mother should. And he takes her, and I look away for a moment to compose myself, and when I look back, they're gone. I'll never forget that face. I'll never forget carrying her around for those five months. Trust me, walking through those doors had to be the hardest thing I've ever had to do.